Chain of Draft is a game-changing prompting technique that enhances the accuracy of your LLM or GNAI agents up to even two times while dropping your token usage up to even 80%. Then, let's go! Alright, before we get into Chain of Draft, which is a new technique of prompting, I want to tell you what's the difference with some initial previous type of well-known prompt techniques like chain of thoughts or direct prompting. Well, let's just start with here. Usually, the very basic thing you want to do with language models, just directly ask your question or you provide your instruction and you're waiting for your final answer. But on the top of that, as you might remember, and obviously you might have heard about chain of thought, which is another a little bit more advanced technique for having a more precise answer by letting the model think about different steps that it needs to do for getting in your final answer. This is actually how we get into some reasoning models that a lot of LLM providers are now releasing more and more. So this technique released that, oh, we can actually increase the accuracy of responses even two or three times more with just simply instructing the model that think and reason before you give me the answer and provide step-by-step -step explanation of what you're going to give to me or how you want to give it to me and here's the answer but it has some caveats first of all it makes the latency higher because you have to wait more because step by step is generating the steps second more tokens or so more cost and some potential issues but we don't need to we have to not ignore the fact that it increased the performance of uh, how precise the answer of the language models are a lot but now recently with chain of draft we will actually enforce the language model to come up with the answer is still a step by step but each step is much shorter maybe just max five words so here we are decreasing the number of tokens we are leveraging for each step and we're increasing the, the, the latency, we are actually decreasing the latency as well because now with less tokens, we can get the final response much better. And even from performance perspective, it seems like it is not only overlapping chain of thought, but also even better than chain of thought. So let me more precise here, what is chain of draft? Again, I just quickly noted some of the steps that you need to apply, but I'll go through the more details of this prompting technique. So it is pretty recent on February, 2025, some research development team from Zoom, yes, the application actually when you have your virtual meetings and calls, they came up with this chain of draft, thinking faster by writing less. So it's a prompting technique that will let you have more precise reasoning steps, but in much shorter length. So we just ask LLM that, hey, think step by step, but limit each step to five words when you want to come up with my answer. And they showed up in their paper, you can actually read the article, they were saying that we were able to get the same accuracy and even better that we used to have a chain of thought with this new technique, but using just 8% of the whole to total token. So almost think about it, like 80-90% decreased in amount of token being used is huge. It saved a ton of potentially cost down the road and also improve the latency and the good news is it doesn't need any training if you have some language models you're thinking about fine-tuning maybe you can fine-tune with chain of thoughts with some provided examples of inputs and outputs but you don't necessarily need to do that and with just having those instructions in the prompt you're good to go so again it reduces the latency lower token and also you still have the transparency when you have step by step the thoughts of the model to maintain that reasoning now let's let me give you an example so you can compare this chain of thought that we previously know with this new chain of draft let's say here's my question asking from language model that if tom buys five apples at two dollar each and three orange at three dollar each how much does he spend in total so the answer is obvious, 5 multiplied by 2 is 10, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, and 10 plus 9 is 19. But if I ask this from chain of thought to potentially increase the, the preciseness of the answer, it will give me a step-by-step -step the reasoning and thoughts of how the model came up with the answer. 
So for more complex math questions or more complex tasks, this is very helpful. You let the model think and as you all know, research shows that through or three times your model answer is going to be more accurate. But now with chain of draft, you can see that these steps are so diminished in length to just max maybe five words. A step one, five multiplied two, step two, three multiplied three, total 10 plus nine. If you recall, this is exactly me as a human. I just calculated this when I was reading the question for you. So it stopped the model to overthink and over communicate for each step and don't get stuck in each one step necessarily. That's why they call it draft because me as a human, I just need to add some side notes in my brain, some draft and short keywords in my brain to maintain the logic of my reasoning and my thought process. So we're doing something similar here for language model as well and which much shorter token limit, token amount and in, in faster speed, I got the same answer. All right, so to be more precise on comparing these two approaches, as we all know, the token got almost 80% reducted, the token use in chain of draft re uh, reasoning. The response time got almost 76% decreased. So when you want to have time sensitive applications with Gen AI, that's a good thing to consider. Maybe you can reduce your speed 80% for the response time. And accuracy, in the benchmark, I actually captured this from their paper. They were benchmarking that I think with using different language models in, in three different approaches. I, was, I think it was in mathematical question, in common sense reasoning, and some other benchmarks. And they showed that in both techniques, not only chain of draft is pretty close to chain of thought in aspect of accuracy, but also even sometimes it is even better compared to chain of uh, thought. So max five words is just the best practice they shared that you need to prompt your model for each reasoning step but it's not really a, a hard song thing you can definitely modify that as needed so talking about modification here's a flowchart for you how to apply chain of draft technique in your application so for a start you need to ask yourself is my task reasoning inten intensive if not, maybe just use startup prompting. You don't need to do anything fancy here, right? But if you feel like your, your task is complex and you're using reasoning models or models that they need reasoning and you need that reasoning for transparency and also preciseness of the answer, then think about adding chain of draft COD instruction to your prompt. How? Here's an example. Think step by step, but keep maximum five words per step. This is what you need to add on the top of your instructions in the prompt. Do you want to inf include some future examples? If you want to, then make sure you provide those answers or examples with chain of thought, chain of draft instructions. So provide the reasoning of that answer example with maximum five words. So the language model will understand, okay, I need to provide an reasonings in just max five words. And I can see the examples here as well. Or if not, you can go just with zero shot, no examples and send it to language model. And it will check the answer. Did the language model follow chain of draft format as you provided? If yes, you're good to go. If not, go back and refine your prompt to make sure you are up to the point to say how your model should think in the reasoning, in what length, which is the most important part. And lastly, to wrap up, obviously it comes with some benefits that we discussed. We talked about speed, less token, so cost efficiency, the accuracy, we said that it's even beating chain of thoughts in, in some approaches and it's pretty simple no fine-tuning stuff needed but what is the limitation it's not necessarily being made for all tasks specifically if you have a task that it's really really complex that the reason you should be deep and we just having f max five words for each step is not enough for the model to to reason then you might need to increase that max length or maybe having having a prompt that is between chain of thoughts and chain of drafts the model dependency, they showed in the paper that uh, this approach works the best with advanced language models. So if you have some smaller local models, maybe you'll see that, oh, you're refining prompt so much and you don't see that, that much of a difference. So a a smaller models might struggle, but it depends on your use case. And transparency trade-off, because you're asking the language model to provide less words in reasoning steps, so maybe you don't really un understand precisely what each step the model is doing. So you are a little bit limited on that, but still with that five words draft, you can still see with the steps and what's going on. So it's not, not necessarily a big deal. 
and of course in key applications you can think about any use case that you're doing right now and your struggle when you prompt the model it's not doing what you ask precisely and you're thinking about applying reasoning but it takes forever then think about chain of draft that might be a good solution all right so given that the concept was pretty simple but still impactful i didn't provide any code example because just really a prompting technique but i hope it was uh, helpful so far and let me know what you think about in the comment section and if you like the topic i pretty appreciate if you click on like icon all right thank you so much according to all aerodynamics law bumblebee cannot fly due to its proportion of its body weight with wing size but ignoring all these law bees still fly dream big my friends believe in yourself and take action till next video Take care.